How's it going guys and welcome to a, another episode of Career Mode, this is episode number 20 and it's a bottom versus top clash to start the episode off, we take on Peterborough at London Road and uh, oh, it's one of those annoying things you know, when because Blackburn have a blue and white home kit and a blue, a dark blue uh, away kit, it's, it's so annoying when I have to play a, a team that plays in blue because it's just annoying, what can I say, but uh, we win a very debatable penalty here. Uh, Kim Shin Wook gets fouled. I don't think it was a penalty myself, but um, you know I'm hardly gonna miss it on purpose. Am I? I'm not that sportsmanship, unfortunately. Sportsmanlike, sportsmanship, whatever. Uh, Kim Shin Wook steps up himself, stutters. No, he doesn't stutter. Wow, I stutter on every penalty. Why didn't I stutter then? Anyway, who cares? He scored. That's the main thing. Uh, puts the ball down the middle. Um, here's a tip for you guys. If you ever come up against me online, always stay down the middle when I take penalties because I pretty much always go down the middle. But uh, anyway, yeah, 1-0 to Blackburn. But uh, the keeper makes a great save here to deny Michelle Weiser. Corner comes in from Andros Townsend towards Kurt Zuma. Once again, it's a great save. And the ball eventually bundles over the line. It was uh, I thought Herrickson managed to put that in, but it ended up going down as an own goal. But uh, it's a goal regardless, and that's the main thing. But uh, yeah, Kim Shin Wook scores here. This time there's no uh, debatable, uh, no debate about who scored the goal. Kim Shin Wook's header past the goalkeeper. Two for him, one own goal. And that's how the game finishes. So the Posh lose 3-0 at here at London Road. And um, yeah, that's a sign of why they're bottom of the league. Uh, but yeah, I was absolutely delighted with that win. And uh, here's a Youth Squad monthly report, which the Chief Executive says. We have some updates on the players. Like I said, Andrew Bunn really isn't developing very well. This guy looks good though, 79.89. And uh, this guy's got 71.85. That's not too bad. So yeah, it's doing pretty well. Um, I'm pretty pleased with my Youth Squad at the moment. Um, like I said, it's, it's not sort of like crammed with loads of average players. I mean, I know I made that mistake at Spurs. I must have spent like a million pounds on players that are really average, but um, it's got some decent players. But uh, the following game is against Leicester. You see Wilfred's a hard nutmeg, where's Morgan? That was awesome. Goes through one on one, and again, my finishing is awful. I didn't want to sweat the ball back there, but to be honest, I, I mean, I need to do it if I'm going to score, because I, I, just, I just can't finish on one on ones. My composure is just absolutely terrible. But uh, yeah, he's Townsend down left hand side in the 66th minute, crossing the ball in, and Jordan Slew twice should have scored there. But Casper uh, Schmeichel makes a brilliant double save regardless to keep the score at 0-0. And uh, here we get a free kick. Jordan Slew is fouled, and yep, I'm still yet to score a free kick in this series. I really need to get one, and I thought I'd try a different approach as opposed to actually shooting directly from the free kick. I'll roll it off to my third man and see if I can score from there. And Townsend so close. He hits the post, but the game finishes 0-0. So still yet to. Score score a free kick hopefully uh, hopefully soon but um, yeah it's annoying me now but uh, for some reason Leicester City decided to celebrate I'm not entirely sure why because they're in the playoffs but uh, yeah they were they were delighted they were delighted with something and I'm not entirely sure why but uh, I, I guess I kind of just figured it out like most of their players and the staff must have bets on Blackburn to finish um, as champions or got promoted because after that game we won promotion I mean I, I don't know why Leicester was celebrating do you want to uh, explain that one to me eh because I I don't understand that one I have no idea why they were celebrating, but yeah, we're promoted anyway, that's the point, um, with, with, I think it was six games to spare, was that it? So yeah, promoted uh, to the Premiership, and I'm just delighted really, I mean, I know that I was going to get promoted anyway from pretty much January, you know, we were running away with it, but uh, it's always nice to get those games to spare, it means you can start to rest players as well, and play some fringe players, but um, Haynes here shoots the ball, saved by Robinson, I think it was, and eventually we managed to give the ball away, and Stevens smashed the ball past the goalkeeper, it's 1-0 to Charlton, so... If we were going to win the league title in this game, we would have to step up and come from behind. But uh, pretty much straight from kickoff, I'm so good at responding from kickoff. Uh, Townsend down left hand side goes through, crosses the ball in. Who's there? It's the big six foot five frame of Kim Shinwook. He heads the ball past the goalkeeper, celebrates with Townsend. It's one one. Absolutely delighted about that. And then uh, in the 38th minute, Cedric Avina uh, puts the ball up here from a free kick. The ball comes to Craig Gibson, who finds Wilfred Zaha. I don't know what I was trying to do there, but it seemed to work, didn't it? He plays the ball to Kim Shin Work, he plays the ball to Wilfred Zaha. It's a great cross into Townsend. What an incredible save by the goalkeeper. But Skinning Towns manages to make the ball, uh, make the ball, make the score 2-1. The moonwalk comes out. We were in front, and if results stayed as they were at the moment, we would be promoted as champions with five games to go, which is lovely. But uh, Kim Shin Work hits the ball out to Andros Townsend here. Townsend down the left-hand uh, side, takes a shot at the goal, and ends up putting it wide. 
But uh, from that resulting goal kick, the ball is played short. Charlton give the ball away in possession. You can't play out from the back, man. That's my thing. You can't play out from the back. They get the ball away. Olsen plays the ball out wide to Andros Townsend. What a great ball into Kim Shin who goes through one on one. And is he going to miss? Hell no. He's going to finish those chances up every single day. It's 3 1 to Blackburn. The celebrations were coming out of Ewood Park. The champagne was took off ice. We were pouring it in the glasses. We were basically done. But uh, in the 93rd minute in injury time, Charlton did manage to actually get a consolation goal. Henriksen gives the ball away. Uh, Solly plays the ball into Holland, who finds uh, Jan Kim I can't pronounce that. Jan Kim Morgan or something like that. Uh, the ball finds its way to green. But that's how the game finishes. It's 3 2 to Blackburn Rovers. And because of that win, it means with five games to go, with games to spare, we are the champions of the N Power Championships. We're not only promoted with five games to go, but we also go up as champions. So I'm absolutely delighted. And it means for the rest of the games, we can just sit back, relax, play fringe players, and just chill out. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to seeing you for episode number 21 very soon.